YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power 9 Quest. My name is Andy, and today is another round of Magic the Gathering versus Pokemon trading card game. Now the first time I did this, uh, I did a variety of packs from each game. Uh, this time I'm doing three of the same packs versus three of the same packs. This is Pokemon Sword and Shield, this is Theros Beyond Death, and the reason why I chose these, instead of doing the brand new sets, is that they've been out for a while, and the, the prices have had a moment to settle. Uh, so, that's what's happening. So let's see which game gets the best value. Um, I, with judging these sets, I'm gonna go with Sword and Shield. But, I could totally be wrong, let's find out. Okay, so, uh, which one should we do first? You know what? Let's, let's do Theros, Beyond Death first. Um, and we're only judging the rares, okay? Um, which is funny that I say that, because last time I did this, I totally got an uncommon that I overlooked, and at the time it was worth some money, and actually I think it fell down in price, but it was from, uh, Corset 2020. Alright, Theros, Beyond Death. Uh, and why I, why I am predicting that Sword and Shield wins is that I just opened up so many of the collector boosters, and I feel like so much of the value of this set is in the, the fancy extended arts and whatnot. Um, all right, so let's just go through here. Uh, Wrap in Flames, but I know those, uh, the, what are those, uh, the Titans, the um, the Elder the elder Giants, whatever those guys are, the big ones. There, there are some cards, like Magic could come out on top. Uh, man, it's actually been a while since I've opened up Theros Beyond Death. Um, revoke existence, memory drain. Look at that artwork. That is, gosh, that is one thing that I don't think any card game will ever be better in the art artwork world than Magic: The Gathering. Uh, Heliod's punishment, sweet oblivion. That's super creepy. Uh, oh, wow, we're already there. Did I flip over? I'm just in my brain. Okay, cool. Grave Baker, Grave Breaker Lamia. I do not think that is a fantastically valuable card, but we will see at the end. Um, all right, pack two. What are we looking for? Uh, the, the Nick, I forget the names. Um, what's the, what's the big one? The, uh, oh, Uros, that's a big one. I think that's the top card. Um, and then the, is it the Nyxborn Ancient? Let's find out. You know what, if we pulled it, let, that would be fantastic, but I don't think we're gonna pull it. Could be wrong. Madomai's Prophecy, Warden of the Chains, and, oh, we got the, the Maze of Ith looking dude. Uh, oh, and we got a foil, no, we didn't, I thought we got a foil. Uh, Labyrinth of Skophos, uh, add a colorless, four, remove, four, and tap, remove, target attacking or blocking creature from combat. Uh, not two shabs, I don't, again, I don't think that's a, that valuable. One thing when I open these packs, and I, and since I'm talking to you guys, I haven't actually been thinking about it, but when I'm normally opening packs of like magic like this, like the normal booster packs, um, I count the commons, and if there's if it if it you know the tenth card is an uncommon, you're getting a foil, and uh, it's kind of nice to now that I'm doing this, I'm totally gonna count these, uh, but it's kind of nice to open packs and not be counting cards. Oh, was a six, seven, eight? Oh, okay. Clearly I miscounted, but clearly we got a foil in this pack, which could bring us some value. So let's find out. Treacherous Blessings, and and a Foil Uncommon Elspeth's Nightmare. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll look that up just to see, you know. Sometimes I find out things, I'm like, oh, that's actually worth a buck or two. Um, and if it's a, if Foils, how about that? I'll, I'll, I'll put Foils to the total, which is kind of unfair because, because uh, Pokemon has a Foil in every pack. All right, um, and with these, since they don't, sorry. All right, well, this is off to a good start. One, two, three, four. Uh, Magic puts the, the right back at the at the end of the pack, so you just gotta open up and go at it. You gotta reorganize the Pokemon packs. Okay. Um, now I'm, I'm just seeing this. I'm really siding with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Galarian Meowth and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew that was not... All right. Sizzlepede. Wooloo. I put it at the back of the pack. Salandit. Reverse Foil. And... Ooh, a Hollow Rare... Oranguru. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Pack two. And I will not spoil with the code card. Not this time. All right. But I will give you that if you guys want it. Um, all right. One, two, three, four. How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't filmed a, a video where I just like hang out and talk to you guys. 
Um, but it's, it's coming. I have a, a case of Hidden Fates on the way, and I wanna, uh, I was thinking about doing a, get behind a booster of Unbroken Bonds. Um, so we'll see. I got, oh, I always got more stuff coming though. Sizzlepede, Reverse Foils <laughs> Landed, are you kidding me? And a Cloister. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, wow. Wow, these are a, kind of a bummer of a packs though. I mean, we did get a Hollow Rare, so that's cool, but it, nothing too exciting. What we found out last time is that even the junk rares on Magic usually had like a dollar value or something, but the bad rares in Pokemon were like dismal. Uh, it, is, it is a good video. You should go back and watch that if you haven't seen the first one I did. Um, all right. Pokey Kid. Oh, that is good luck. Or it used to be. When I opened up a bunch of Sword and Shield. And I never, I haven't pulled that Zacian gold. I need to, I need to go for that. Uh, oh, I, just, I doubled down here. Sorry. There we go. Ponyard. Uh, reverse foil, uh, Galvantula, and a Raichu. Well, at least it's a familiar face. All right, nothing too exciting. But I'm going to get on the TCG Player app, and I'm going to find out the totals of the cards you're looking at right here, and let's find out who is the winner. Oh, my. I knew that that was bad, but I did not know that that was a train wreck. Like, the values of the bad rares in these sets is comical. Like, I'm actually glad this was this bad of a video because I'm just impressed. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's not, hopefully it's not a bad video, but like, I'm, like the outcome of that, like the first time I did this, it was it was interesting. Uh, this time it's hilarious. So we'll start with we'll start with magic. Okay, so we got the treacherous blessings, a whopping twenty six cents. We've got the labyrinth of Scophos, Sco, Scophos, yeah, forty three cents, and that's good for this group. And then the Gravebreaker Lamia is 33 cents, and then this foil. Boy, it's up there with the rares, it's 32 cents. Okay, this foil uncommon, Elspeth's Nightmare. All right, that gives us a total of $1.34. Now, if you bought three packs of magic, it's gonna be around 12 bucks. With all the other uncommons and commons, you might be getting two or three dollars. Like, that's that's bad, that's really bad. Granted, you're playing the game, you're having fun. So, and it's part it's part of the game, you know, everyone buys a pack, it's, it's like, buying a pack of cards is, is essentially like playing a little innocent lottery. Okay, and this is what we're experiencing right now. Pokemon, okay, we got six cards, but don't, don't get too impressed. We have the Raichu at 24 cents. Its ambitions of being worth a quarter are just a little bit shy. <laughs> the Cloister is 15 cents. This is a 15 cent rare. The Ranguru Hollow Rare is actually over a dollar. It's worth a dollar 29, and that's good. There you go. These foils, uh, all of them, there's one uncommon and two commons. Uh, funny enough, the, the uncommon, Galvantula, however you pronounce it, is eight cents, and the commons, the Slandit, uh, are 17 cents each, which brings us to a whopping total of $2.10. So Pokemon, you won, but I wouldn't be too proud of that, because again, you spent 12 bucks, and you got, uh, you know, $2.10 plus all the other commons and uncommons. Wow, that's bad. I do want to point out that again, the bad magic cards were worth more, just a little bit more than the bad Pokemon cards. Uh, and you know, this was just a bad set of packs. Usually if you bust six packs, you're gonna pull something that's worth a few bucks. Uh, but this happens, and thus is another battle of magic versus Pokemon. I'm gonna do more, and I want I think I, I might have said this the first time, I wanna go back and do like old, old magic versus old Pokemon. That'd be a lot of fun, but I gotta calculate the packs to see which stand a good chance against each other. Uh, but if you like this, uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. So thank you for watching. I do wanna shout out a channel. Uh, I've been trying to do this uh, more consistent and expand the community of card opening here on YouTube. And this is a new one that I was watching a few videos on. It's Cards with Michael. Uh, it's magic, and but there's a lot of variety in what he's, he's doing some of the new Aquaria. I think he just did Eternal Masters, um, and he does giveaways. It's very, very cool. Check it out. I'll put it right down the info and uh, enjoy consuming more card opening on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do more of this myself, so hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to me. You guys have a fantastic day. I am going to go, and you don't know where, but you can assume in my house because it's 2020 and that's all we do is we just stay at our house. And that is another video done. I hope you enjoyed the concept of that one because I want to keep doing it. I had fun. Um, so if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and that will sign you up to do just that. What it won't do is uh, your taxes or homework. And if you have both, that's, I guess you're in college and you're an adult. I don't know how I'm talking about this, but I am. Oh, a baby's crying. I'm going to go. Goodbye.